Hi everybody, it's Exynos and today I'm gonna compare for you the Babola Pure Aero 98 with the regular Babola Pure Aero. So those two rackets are Babola Pure Aero but they are pretty different in terms of specs. So for the 98 we have a 98 square inch head size with a 16 by 20 string pattern and an unstrung weight of 305 grams. For the regular Babla Pure Aero, it's a 100 square inch head size with a 16 by 19 string pattern and an unstrung weight of 300 gram. There's also a difference in terms of beam at the top, so a bit thinner for the 98 and a bit wider for the regular 100. The 98 is supposed to be meant for competitive player that loves to grind from the baseline and the regular arrow is meant to be for more recreational player up to a high level player that want a bit more free power. So let's go to the court. I've strung those two rackets with vocal cyclone at the same tension but I put it in yellow for the 98 and in black for the 100 so that you can see the difference. Let's go. On the court with the Babola Pure Aero 98, um, the first thing that I felt was the small sweet spot. So compared to let's say a regular Aero, it's a lot tougher to uh, hit the ball in the sweet spot. But once it's done, the feeling is just unmatchable because you feel that you have that amount of power with spin, with control. And so it's probably one of the best feeling that I've ever felt when I tried a racket. You feel like it's stiff, you feel like it's putting a lot of spin. With the Babla Pure Aero 100, I felt, yes, that the sweet spot was bigger, but also the fact that it's easier to generate power even though you're not uh, well placed. So it's easier, it's more forgiving, uh, a lot easier to have uh, power on the surf. So I would say that overall, it's just easier to create that amount of power, but at the same time, you have a lot of power to control. So sometimes it can be tough, even though I like a bit more the control on the newer version compared to the older, the oldest one. So um, yeah, just overall, a lot of power, a lot of spin, easy to grind from the baseline, but less touch a bit. So I think that those two rackets are really good, although they're a bit different. I really enjoyed the regular pure arrow to grind from the baseline. I felt like it has some easy power. At the serve, it's probably one of the best racket that I've ever tried because it's giving a lot of free power. So if you want easy, easy point with a flat serve, this racket has to be uh, your choice. But on the other side, I felt like with the Aero 98, you felt like the sweet spot was a bit smaller, a bit tougher uh, to get the ball out of the racket, but once it hit the sweet spot, it's incredible. Obviously, it's still good at the serve, but a bit tougher to create and to generate uh, that power. So I was a bit more tempted to go with slice serve or kick serve compared to the regular Aero. So, if I have to choose a winner, I would have to go with the 98, but it's really, really close because those two rackets are great. I would just say that if you want to have a bit tougher racket that demands a bit more from your you and your body, uh, go with the 98. If you want to have a bit easy access to power and to spin, you have to go with the regular 100. Hope you all liked the video. Don't forget to like, to comment, and to subscribe. And thanks to Racket Little for letting me try those two rackets. Without them, it would not have been possible. See you next time. Bye bye.